Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild coming to you with another Space Engineers tutorial video. This time, an update to the scriptless solar panel. Probably the final update I will ever do because this is not my method of doing it. It is Keen's. Keen has listened to us and graced their humble audience, their humble customers, with the ability to create our very own solar panel scriptless and un uh, unneeding for a script scripting block unneeding the programmable block none of that you'll be able to do it without that before i start into this just want to let y'all know if you're new to the channel you like this content be sure to show me support by hitting the like leave a comment telling me how you feel about it i always love talking to you guys and seeing what y'all come up with and uh, if you're new subscribe also i'd like to remind everyone if you want to also support the channel a little bit more we have a Minuteman tier at the subscribe star down in the description. Only $1 a month. That's all you'd have to pay. And it's only if you want to. By the way, without further ado, let's get started. So, first thing, we are going to want to build our solar panel similar to how we used to build them. So, before we will build down our nice and neat little rotor down there. And we're going to plop a nice little hinge in here. Now, the best part about this is I can I need to go in here at some point. And we want to name this stuff. So naming is always important when you are doing something like this. And it's pretty easy to find this stuff. First, we'll go to hinge. And just name it something like hinge solar. And then you're also want to go, going to want to go in here and do rotor and name this rotor solar because you need stuff um, you need to have it labeled before you start putting anything down. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to slap a light armor block on there. In fact, we may just slap two light armor blocks on there. We are then going to grab our solar panels here for the base. We're going to slap one here. And we're going to put the other one on the other side. And this is scalable. You can add as many of these on as the hinge and rotor will allow you to do. Now, for number four, we're going to bring out a camera. But for this, I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> just how far Keen has thought about this. And that if you're going to set your camera on, remember, make sure your light is on the bottom, that little green light. But we're not going to use this camera. We're going to use the new camera. This camera. This nice, neat little camera up here. So we got that set up. So you can see that little camera going on there. Now for the next block. And this is, this is the fun part. We're going to go over here. And I am going to get a turret controller. This is what this is where the magic happens. So we go into the turret controller and it's going to be like setting up a regular turret, only this time with no guns. You don't have to mess with the guns part down here uh, where it says available tools and stuff like that. You don't you don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of this. And looking at it there it doesn't show any of them. We see a lot of welders and grinders, but you don't have to use those. What we're going to do is we're going to assign the azimuth rotor, we're going to do rotor solar going to add the elevation which is hinge solar We're going to assign our camera which is top mounted camera I used the top mounted so I didn't have to you know label anything I'll place that on there and we're going to take the velocity of this thing and knock it down to well let's knock it down further than that we'll knock it down to about three because these things move uh, pretty pretty violently now heading down as you move down you're going to find this under remove tool or weapon there will be this button here that says always aim at sun I'm going to hit on oh yeah we are now pointing at the sun. We are getting maximum solar charge. Let's go over here. Let's look at this solar panel here. 
and see how these solar panels are working. And going through here, okay, here's our current solar panel. You can see we are getting a maximum output of 159.76 kilowatts. A little more, a little less. But we, we are we are storing some major power with this thing, unlike these other solar panels here, which are only pulling 138. So, how scalable is this? Uh, it's it's fairly easy to build. I mean, it's if you can weld some stuff together, uh, you you can build several of these things. Just start. I would slap about six solar panels to each of these, if you want. And ultimately, you can see it right here. If I turn everything off, you can watch. And you can see it move. It is perfectly tracking. You can see that little tick every so often. There you go. You see it right then. Also going here. Just show you guys how it how it works here. I can move the sun around. Oh yeah. We are now looking at the sun again. So you see, even with moving the sun, it now just tracks. And you can set a whole bunch of these in like a line out next to your base, like out in here. You can just set a whole solar farm. Instead of having these solar panels just in here, you can just start stripping down these solar panels and attaching them to a few of these. And then just make a little solar farm, make it work. By the way, <clears throat> thank you all for watching. That was the, <laughs> the new scriptless solar panel which will enable you to do all sorts of fun stuff. You'll be able to get this thing running, do all your cool things that you want to do in-game, and uh, have near-unlimited power supply using the turret control block. Yes, it is It is a wild and amazing option that we now have. It is also proof that Keen is one of the few companies out there that listens to the audience and does something when the audience asks them to. So... Thank you, Keen, for making this. It has been amazing. It's it's awesome. And uh, I can't say enough about this. I have never been more happy to have a, a project of mine on Space Engineers be completely obsolete because this makes everyone's life easier. It makes my life easier as a person who has who can make fancy stuff to get around using scripts, and it makes life infinitely easier for new players coming in. So thank you. Awesome. Just want to remind y'all, if you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, if you liked what you saw, leave me a comment, drop me a like, tell me how, how much you liked the video, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and remember, if you want to if you want to support just a little bit more, you can hit me up on the subscribe star for a, just a dollar a month, that's all I'm asking for from everybody on the Minuteman tier. And I drop some stuff on the subscribe star letting everyone know what new videos are coming out. So you guys will get an idea of what's to come. So you can get a sneak peek at what's going on behind the scenes on my videos. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Badger Wild, and I am signing out.